Hi everybody, I want to talk today about invisible illness and if you have it, you've got to fix that nervous system. Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Ann Homick from Homick Advanced Chiropractic and this is Brain Snob episode number 63. Welcome! You know that a burdened brain is a disease magnet, but a performing brain can change the world. What side do you want to be on? I want you to be the performer and we want your full participation in the world. We need you! so. Join us with chiropractic care and the BFA protocol. Interestingly, nothing resets the nervous system like a chiropractic adjustment. And if uh, it can wake up somebody in a coma, what are you waiting for? So get adjusted. I can't give you an adjustment through the video. You've actually got to come into the office. But the BFA protocol has uh, steps that you can do on your own. It's low tech and hands on. And uh, you don't have to go to any far away places to get it done. These are things you can do. Move your brain, feed your brain, talk to your brain because we want to give your brain the best uh, opportunity so you can have life experiences that are great as well. The brain makes the body, you make your life. And it is the master system, the brain and spinal cord. Let's start right at the top. So what is that invisible illness I'm talking about? Well, you can think of things like depression. Some people have anxiety. Um, some other mental illnesses, they're kind of invisible because you look pretty normal. And people even say, you look okay, what's wrong? And uh, then there's people who have normal blood work, but they feel awful. They don't have the energy they used to have. Um, they might have just some general aches and pains or GI distress. A um, lot of things physically wrong that interferes with their enjoyment of life, but they have normal blood work. So that's an invisible illness. There are people who have um, their x-rays, they're uh, taking x-rays of their spine, whatever, arms, legs, hips, wherever they're having an issue, and they have a normal x-ray. And the doctors say, well, it's normal here. You don't have any abnormalities in your bones, but it's an invisible illness because they're going to send you on your way and they'll just say, you know, take this pain medicine as needed and people get sick of that. They don't want to feel like a something in a bottle is going to control their lives, rule their lives because it's not an adequate answer. When you have invisible illness, you've got to fix your nervous system because your nervous system is going to handle stress. And when stress reaches a certain point, your body says, whoa, I surrender, waving the white flag um, to the point of, I quit. Why are you doing this to me? I can't take any more of the stress. Where does the stress come from? There's three kinds, so you got to categorize it. Mechanical stress, emotional stress, and chemical stress. And if you want to know more about that, it's a good idea to dive in. Mechanical stress is anything affecting your posture, your body positioning, your movement patterns, your sleep patterns. That would be mechanical uh, activities you do day in and day out. They're either helping your body or hindering your body. You've got to understand how those mechanical changes affect your spine and affect your nervous system because everything's talking back and forth and you want them to be talking sweetly back and forth to each other. Chemical stress would be the diet you're eating. Chemicals you're exposed to, any chemicals you're putting on your skin, anything you're inhaling anything you're drinking and also the nutrients that you're not getting because you've got low low nutrients so you got a nutrient deficiency high toxins so your body is unable to detox properly we've got to get all that in balance and if you've got to understand where that stress is coming from as well and emotional stress well that would be a 10 episodes or more emotional stress any thought in your head is going to turn on a chemical. Sometimes it turns on happy chemicals. Sometimes it turns on not so happy chemicals. And your brain will also believe whatever you tell it because your brain will act like something is truly happening. For example, if you're at a scary movie and you're screaming your head off, ah, ah, and uh, I'm not going to scream, but it's scary, it's exciting, and you're having fun at the movie theater, your brain doesn't really realize there's a difference. So you're going to have the same nervous system reaction. It's okay in short spurts because it's entertainment, but if your body thinks it's in danger every day continuously, there's going to be exhaustion. There's going to be fatigue. There's going to be tissue breakdown. 
invisible illness is not really invisible if you think about everything on the molecular level. If you think about your cellular health, what is helping your mitochondria? What is damaging your mitochondria? Oh, and I forgot to mention medications. They actually kill your mitochondria. So unfortunately, that is a hindrance when um, you're trying to get your health back. So there's a lot of... Um, a lot of things you have to weigh, and if you're going to heal that invisible illness, it's going to cause you a little bit of angst, and sometimes there's going to be upheaval with your family dynamics, dynamics with your friends, more emotional stress. So don't tackle it alone. Come to the office where you will meet other like-minded folks who can help you understand the BFA protocol and have other people explain to you why they're getting adjusted. Because sometimes nobody wants to hear it from me. It's more exciting to hear it from somebody else in the waiting room. And uh, one day I might actually have some guests on the video and people who are don't mind talking about themselves and sharing their success. Because it is a little bit boring when you're just hearing it from me. But it is exciting to watch people actually uh, flourish when they've had struggles and then they've turned it around. It's all about lifestyle and BFA is a lifestyle. It's not a hard lifestyle. It's a fun lifestyle, but people have to really see the benefits and understand that once you're feeling better, it's not considered work anymore because everybody thinks it's work to do some lifestyle changes. So that's another stressor, mental stress, that we've got to get a handle on. So invisible illness, it's not really invisible. We just have to think more deeply. We have to think outside of the box. And uh, you've got to get ready for different. Because if you want to feel differently, you've got to think different and do differently. You just, you have to have a different mindset. And here, you're not alone. Uh, what are some of the things that impact invisible illness that we don't really get a handle on in mainstream healthcare? Let's talk about mold or heavy metals or candida or Lyme. Somebody's had Lyme for a long time. Uh, you've got to do a lot of things at once to help uh, strengthen the immune system. And a dead tooth. How about parasites? H. pylori. Yeah, we sometimes forget about that. Um, but... Um, and it can, it's, it's easily missed. Uh, just like all these other things are, they're not on our radar. They're not in our regular vocabulary. What else? Oxalate poisoning. Certain vegetables might be giving you that joint pain or affecting your thyroid health. That's the oddest thing I he have heard lately, but it's becoming more and more of a problem as we have foods flown in, driven in from all kinds of faraway climates, faraway locations. So consider the oxalates that you're eating and experiment. You, you might be surprised at what um, food can do when you really pay attention to what you're eating. Autoimmune issues, they, everyone thinks they're invisible, but on the cellular level, they uh, can impact your cells, impact your health. Um, uh, electromagnetic sensitivity, especially if you are not getting rid of heavy metals, if they're trapped in your body, well, that electricity is uh, not going to feel good at, uh, in your body. So if you think you're having some strange symptoms that don't make sense, reconsider all the Wi-Fi that's around you and try to control that because nobody wants to admit their favorite uh, cell phone or their laptop and their their internet entertainment is getting in the way of their health. Low chemical tolerance, that's rep, uh, sort of what I was talking about a few seconds ago. Glyphosate gut, if, you're, if you have leaky gut and all those glyphosates that are sprayed on your vegetables are getting into your system, they're helping heavy metals go to your brain a whole lot faster. So the glyphosates, it's the pesticides, it's on all our food, it's in and our animals are eating them. So we're eating plants and we're eating animals exposed to that awful weed killer. Your gut needs to be healthy in order to withstand that. And medication-induced mitochondria damage, I mentioned that as well. A lot of medications are killing your cells. So you're always running a deficit wondering, why don't I feel better? So it's a catch-22, and I'm sorry about that because there's a lot in society 
that um, doesn't help us and we've got to really make a decision on what side of stubborn we are going to stand on. And if you've got invisible illness, you're going to have to rely on your own brain and your own um, ideas of what it's going to take to help yourself feel better. I'll go along with you on the journey. I'm not going to make you be on that journey alone because with the BFA protocol we can address all those things that other people don't understand. And we can do it naturally and without drugs. It takes a while, it takes a plan, it takes lifestyle changes, but in the end it's going to be worth it. So I want you to understand the BFA protocol. Move your brain, feed your brain, talk to your brain, and find out what else you can do to help your immune system, your nervous system, your brain, your body. Your brain makes your body and uh, you live your life. So let's do it together. Uh, I want you to become a brain snob so you are that positive ripple effect in your community. So check out all the videos, like everything, subscribe to everything, hit the bell. Uh, what else am I supposed to mention? Read the blog, but call me up and make that appointment because face to face we can get a lot done and I can't wait to meet you. Thanks and wait for the next video.